Mina, come on, why? Jesus freaking gamer decided to do. Oh, Jesus freaking gamer here. I didn't say here at the end. That was weird. I'm not gonna edit. I'm not gonna start over either. That was hilarious. I'm gonna keep that in there. That was goofy. Coming at you with Psalm 83. Decide. I just decided to do another message today. So here you go. And I love the beginning of this. It's Psalm 83, verse one. Do not keep silent, O God. Do not hold your peace, and do not be still, O God. Now, the, I was like, the background for this is God created everything. He created everyone. All that exists is here because of Him, and everything that exists continues to exist because He personally sustains it by the power of His Word. That stuff is written in the book of Hebrews. Google is your friend. I, I love giving you guys a little bit of homework every now and then. When I read this verse, what this spoke to me very strongly of is how God can do anything. He's capable of absolutely anything, but there are many times when God does not move down here. I'm, I, we, I think we all know of dead churches, of Christians who aren't living for God. We know of some people, and so we know of some people that could be reached for the Lord. We know of some things that could be done if someone would take action. And I'm not saying that necessarily you're the one to do so, but I am saying possibly you're the one to do so. We have a and now God wants to defend His people, right? He loves us. He cares for His children. He doesn't want us hurt. He doesn't want us in pain. And here we have Asaph saying, you know, God, don't be silent, don't hold your peace, don't be still. Many times God will not move because we're not seeking Him. The first and foremost story that comes to my mind in this is in, in the book of Daniel. We have um, Daniel is troubled about something, so he ends up praying and fasting for, I want to say it was 23 days. Google behind me, make sure I got that right. And after 23 days, the angel comes down and he says, the minute you prayed, I was released from heaven to talk to you, but the prince of Persia resisted me for 23 days. Now how in the world can a, de an a, a, blah, 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 a demon resist an angel? How is that even possible? You know, God's all powerful, Satan's limited. How is that even a thing? How, I'm not sure exactly how this works. I know that God wants the very best for us. So what I will say is in His grace and in His mercy, in His loving kindness towards us, He has given us the privilege and the honor to fight for His kingdom. Things don't just automatically happen in this world that should happen because they're the right thing. No, we who are believers, we need to fight for those things. We need to go for those things. We need to pursue those things. Definitely, you know, the physical activity activity needs to be done. You know, like soup kitchens are a good thing. Prison ministries are a good thing. And any other any other ministry you can think of, there are definitely physical things that need to be done. And that's why I said you may need to be a part of those things. But I didn't say definitely because I don't know what you're called to do. I don't know what God's designed you to do. I don't know how much time you have in a day. And whatever, you know, God doesn't want you to abandon your job or abandon your family. He, you need to keep doing those things. And you, so your time is limited. Your resources are limited. You, just where you can go and what you can do, it's, it's a limited deal. We're all limited beings, and we are designed that way. We're designed to need each other and to need Him. One thing that we are definitely called to do is pray. We are called to pray. We're called to t seek God, to seek His face, to call out to Him that He would save us. And that is exactly what's going on here in Psalm 83, verse 1. Do not keep silent, O God. Do not hold your peace. And do not be still, O God. This was a prayer for deliverance, a prayer for power, a power, uh, a power to resist the enemy and for victory over what the enemy had planned. And that is what we need to be doing. We need to be in prayer. We need to be close to God. We need to be seeking Him. We need to be in spiritual warfare, locking our swords of truth against the fiery darts of the enemy, and we need to pursue what God wants in this life. God can do anything, but there are many things He won't do until we, His children, seek Him like He has commanded us to. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully, it inspired some of y'all to get a move on. Hopefully, uh, it pulled some of you guys up out of your um, lackadaisicalness. That, that's what I'm really hoping that this video will accomplish, that some people will watch it, and some people will realize, hey, God's not just going to sit up there and do everything. I got some stuff to do, 
If I don't do it, God's not going to do it for me. And I think I gave sufficient biblical proof to prove that to you and to show you that some of this is indeed on us. Love you very much. God bless.